Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to fi file a disability claim for your pregnancy on the EDD website. Now, this is gonna be a step-by-step -step on actually how to file the claim um, with some important and key information mixed in. If you have more specific questions on when to file, um, if you're qualified, what type of payout you can expect. I have two very in-depth videos that address those things for both mom's disability and paid family leave claims. And then I also have a video for dads specific to paid family leave filing for them. And I will link both of those below and also slide them over throughout the video so that you can directly click on them from there. The whole filing process may seem intimidating, but it's really quick and easy and you need less paperwork than you'd think to complete the filing. My claim took me about five minutes from start to finish. And this specific claim, I'm filing for disability four weeks before my due date. And basically I agreed with my doctor that I am unfit to work at this point. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and submit my claim. Most disability claims related to pregnancy are filed about four weeks before the due date. As you start to slow down and aren't able to do the normal work tasks that you'd be able to do previously, you don't necessarily need to file four weeks before your due date, but if you don't use it, you lose it. In other words, if you don't use that four weeks of disability that you might be eligible before your pregnancy, you won't be able to add them onto your disability after your pregnancy. First off, you're just going to go to Google and search in EDD disability claim. That will take you to the EDD website. If you haven't ever submitted a disability or unemployment claim in the past, um, you're going to need to register and create a login, which is what I'm showing you here. If you have already created an account in the past for disability or unemployment, you can just use your same login and get right into the portal. You're gonna hit SDI online, which is under the disability paid family leave section and you are going to want to click to apply for a disability claim now here i'm just going to pause on the screen and this has a list of what you need before you file basically all this is saying is that you need your personal information and your employer information once you click next there you're going to get to the information input area and this is basically where you're just going to include very simple information on yourself like social security number date of birth um, address etc then once you finish that you're going to go to section three which is the employment information this is going to basically ask you know when your last day of work was when your disability claim is going to begin, um, if you're going to receive any partial pay once your disability starts, and so on. So again, very, very simple questions. It's gonna ask you a little bit about your regular occupation, but very, very basic information that took me just a couple minutes to input. If you're filing a claim, chances are that your employer does not offer any sort of paid family leave or disability benefits, and it's really important to make sure you're checking the correct boxes. If you do put in incorrect information, it is possible to revise a claim, but it's just going to prolong the process, which you don't wanna do when you're waiting to get paid out and you've stopped working. The next section is to input the information on your employer. So if your employer is a bigger business, you can search their name and it might auto-populate. Um, my employer is a smaller business, so I basically just had to input their full company name, um, address, phone number, etc. You don't need to include any pay stubs or pay records or information unless the EDD asks you to provide those. What's going to happen once you submit the claim is that your employer is actually going to get sent a physical mailer that's going to say so-and-so's filed a claim. 
um, we need a statement of facts stating that their last day of work um, and all the information they submitted to us is correct, that they are actually employed with you and are on disability. And they're gonna ask the employer to provide some wage information, but ultimately the EDD is gonna access your past paychecks that have been reported by your company through payroll. So as long as your company is legitimate and has been paying into SDI via your paycheck, um, the EDD is gonna be able to access all of those records. So you don't need to have pay stubs and things like that readily available for this filing. From there, you're gonna pop into the last section, which is basically a sign off stating that all the information that you submitted is factual and to the best of your knowledge. And then you're also gonna select how you'd like payment, whether it be an EDD debit card or a check. I always choose check just because I feel like if the debit card gets lost, that could be a potential problem. So I just like to have that paper trail. And then you are gonna include your primary care physician and what's going to happen there is that your primary care physician needs to file a certification or statement of fact saying that you are in fact not able to work because of your disability due to pregnancy and um, they can go online. You just need to provide them with that form receipt number that I've highlighted in the screenshot. And from there, they'll be able to log into their portal and provide that certification or statement of facts. And this portion is just a last little survey on paid family leave. And paid family leave, they just wanna make sure you're aware of because you will be eligible for eight weeks of paid family leave, both you and your husband, after the baby is born. And that time is paid out through the state so that you can have time to bond with your child and it's the, the same rate as the disability claim so it's 60 percent of your overall rate wages assuming that you meet the eligibility requirements and the last piece that i've highlighted on this screen is basically saying how long you can expect to it to take to receive those payments which is 14 days as long as your physician and your employer are punctual as far as getting back to your claim so you're going to file the initial claim and then everything associated with your claim and um, the certification from your physician and also the statement of facts from your employer will all be associated with that claim number so if you aren't hearing back from the edd just make sure that both your employer and your physician or ob have filed everything on their end that way the edd can process your claim as soon as possible um, don't try calling them. They don't pick up the phone. If you have any questions on your claim, I recommend going to the claim directly and then you can submit a question specific to that claim through this portal that we walked through today. So it can all be so confusing or very simple, just depending on how you look at it, but hopefully this added some clarity to it and um, gave you some more insight on what it actually takes to file. I'll be doing a screen share as well on filing the paid family leave for dads because I'll be doing that for my husband once the baby is born, and I'll be sure to walk you through that as well. Again, if you have any questions, leave them below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.